Hello, Tom Lavecchia here with the New Theory Podcast. Today we have Animal Singh, who dialed in. Animal, where are you calling from? Calling from New York. Oh, beautiful. So we're uh, right across the river. So Animal's calling exactly. from New York, and he's a very has a varied background. He's a stock trader, has some online digital properties, invested in some apps and some real estate. So Animal, uh, let's start with your formative years. Where did you grow up? I grew up in India until I was 18, uh, and then, you know, moved to London, and then now I'm here. Okay, so you're born in India, and then moved to uh, U.S., and spent some time in London. Uh, did you move around for education, familiar reasons, or, or other reasons? Uh, well, particular reason was to move around for education uh, when I moved to London. However, behind that education was also that I wanted to explore, I wanted to travel, and I wanted to you know, just move out and be independent. Okay. What was your educational training? I did, uh, I studied business and management, uh, BSc honors, bachelor's of science degree from, uh, Brunel university in London. Nice. And then what did you do after that? After that, I didn't do anything. After I straight away started trading, uh, traded for a, another firm on wall street. And then eventually when I had enough money of my own, I moved on to trading for myself. Okay. So we always want to kind of, Maybe to say nailed down is maybe right word or not, uh, but we we also listen. I'm from New Jersey, New York. I come from a family, you know, from Italy, and usually culture has a lot of influence growing up, right? And we had some other gentlemen on the show that happened to be Indian as well. So I do want to ask some questions, and I may be off base, but I want to ask them. Um, in the Indian culture, you know, education is very, very, very well revered, right? It's uh, uh, on the forefront. Would you say that's the same in your family as well? Um, yes and no. Like, yes, in terms of that they always encouraged me to, you know, study hard, uh, get educated. However, it was not the forefront. They didn't force me for anything. I mean, my, my father doesn't have a degree. You know, my mom ha doesn't have a degree. Nobody has a degree. It's a, a family of entrepreneurs. Everybody started their own business. So I was always encouraged more in the practical side of how to run things, uh, watching my father run his business rather than being forced, uh, you know, or sh have education shoved down my throat. However, for a lot of families in India, that's actually the exact, exact case. They want you to be educated. They want it to like a priority in the family. Okay. So, so, so I was right in the sense where traditionally, um, you know, they want you to go to your master's, doctorate, be a professional, but you happen to be in a family of entrepreneurs. When did you first know you wanted to be an entrepreneur? When did you first get bit by the bug? I mean, I think uh, as soon as I was a child, I think maybe I was four or five, I remember, you know, my family members coming to my house or like a big group of relatives coming to my house. But whenever we had family over, you know, I always thought of, uh, thought of that as a business opportunity. I would just bring, you know, stuff from the house and start selling it. I organized like a table when people were visiting the house and I just laid out random stuff. I don't even know, picked out stuff from the house and started selling it to people who, uh, you know, who were coming there. So I always had that within me. Uh, as a child, I even started like a magazine when I was like 10 years old, I uh, started a magazine, which I was selling in school to my friends and other people in the class. Nice. And then you've, okay. So you're in New York, right? And you start trading. Uh, tr that's tricky because on one end, you know, if you caught it the right years, you were making like ridiculous money on the other end. It's like a thankless job and no commissions. W where did you catch it on in the cycle? Um, well, in the first year of trading, I uh, you know didn't really make any money. I was losing money the whole first year. Yeah. Um, and it's the second year of my trading is when I actually got it. And the reason I got into the trading in the first place is because I couldn't find a job. I was applying. I gave tons of interviews. You know, I just did a whole lot of sending resumes, interviews, cover letters, all that stuff. I couldn't get a job, so I had to. You know, I said, "Hey, trading is my only way out. I got to really get good at this thing." So I, and when I got into my second year of trading, and I finally, you know. Got it, so to speak. Okay, so you started making some money. Now, how long did you trade for? And then what was your next step? Well, I mean, for, first, I, after my 12 months of trading, um, you know, that's when I eventually got it. And since then, I've been trading. So since 2010, I've pretty much been, uh, you know, pretty much been trading until about seven years. Now, trading your own money or on behalf of other people? Well, I started off trading other people's money. So I started off trading for another firm who backed me with their capital to trade. And in exchange, we split profits. You know, it was a 70-30 split. They took 30% of my profits. I kept 70%.
and that's why they gave me the money to trade. So I started trading for them. I worked my way up. They kept giving me more and more money. And uh, eventually I had enough saved up money on my own that I went out to trade my own. So since uh, about 2013, I've been trading my own money. Okay. So, so you see you had a knack for it. You, had an, you, you were good enough for to get backing. So what do they do? They basically give you the money to say, hey, trade some stocks. I'm making this up. Just a, just a number. And I see a specific number in a minute. A um, million dollars, and then you, you make three hundred thousand dollars in profit, and you hold on to two ten. That's the linear mathematics on something like that, correct? Yeah, I mean they had like ten levels. So level one, they gave me fifty thousand dollars to trade. Correct. My goal was only to make like hundred bucks a week. Yeah. yeah. If, if if I hit the target two weeks in a row, the next level they gave me seventy five thousand dollars. Now my target was two hundred a week, and then eventually kept on working up until level ten. In level 10, you got $10 million and, you know, you could, you had to make about $3,000, $4,000 a week. And, um, you know, that, that's where I eventually got to and I moved on to my own trading. Okay. So what's the most money you made in a day? Uh, well, in a day, about 25000 What's the most you've lost in a day? Uh, most I've lost in a day, about 5000 Got it. Okay. Now, uh, I actually have some friends growing up do this. I know, I know enough to be dangerous. Were you like in a pit with some guy over you? Did you do it from home? Uh, did you have the option? What was the setup? Yeah, I've always done it from home, but I've always had mentors. I've probably spent close to fifty thousand dollars in you know learning how to trade in my own education until I finally found a mentor who's actually my business partner right now at Live Traders. So he's the guy who I learned from, uh, and you know he, he at that time was selling a course which was about seven thousand dollars that I took, and then he took me under his wing and you know taught, uh, taught me how to trade. All right, so. So that was your hustle, right? You were trading, you're making some money, enough to support yourself, enough to grow. And then in the entrepreneurial spirit, it was livetraders.com. You were forced out of the gate resource or entrepreneur venture, or did you have one prior to that? Well, prior to that, I was working with my family as well. So they had real estate that I was managing okay. to create some extra cash flow while I was learning how to trade. So I was managing their real estate, managing their clients, you know, leases, signing new people on. So that's the sort of stuff that I was doing early on until uh, you know, I got successful at, uh, at trading. Okay. So then you started um, trading. You started your firm. Uh, what's LiveTraders.com exactly? Well, so LiveTraders.com is a all-encompassing resource for traders. So we provide courses, training, education for those looking to trade or those looking to just you know, trade on the side uh, to create some extra cash. So we uh, support both people who are looking to trade for a career as a professional and those looking to just invest their money. And we also offer services, you know, like newsletters where people can just basically we send them, hey, this is what I'm trading. Here's what I'm buying. it. Here's where I'm selling it. You know, here's where I'm going to get out if I'm wrong. Here's what I'm get out, going to get out when I'm right. So we just provide like a newsletter form. And then the best service that we have is the most popular one is our live trading room where I'm actually sharing my screen all day long and my audio all day long. And I'm just trading and people can get to see me win, lose, whatever it is. They get to see me trade, you know, live. Basically, it's like sitting next to me. Okay. Now, is this a subscription model? Is it on demand? Is it freemium? Well, what's what's the what's the revenue model? Right. So, live traders, the trading room is a subscription model. It's one hundred and fifty dollars a month, well, one hundred and forty-seven a month uh, to join the room. And the courses are one time, you know, ranging from ninety-seven for the basic course all the way to two thousand for the uh, you know advanced course. And then one-on-one -on -one sessions, I you know I usually charge uh, five thousand an hour for like a one-hour one-on-one. Now, are you going to your know, smaller or medium shops and saying, "Hey, uh, I want to work with you, buy five seats," you know, more B two B, or are you doing more B two C, trying to get individual traders who would pay you out of their pocket? Right. So our main focus is not 90, 80 percent of the revenue is B two C. Okay. So it's attracting customer uh, clients who are looking to trade from home, you know, just looking to get into trading. Those are our primary source. And then we also have people who've been trading for five, six years. They just need like a room to belong in, like a community. So they can come into the live room, bounce ideas off me, say, hey, I'm looking at this stock. What do you think? And I'm live on the microphone with my screen so I can just analyze it for them really quickly. And then 20% uh, of the revenue comes from prop desks. So we have uh, really popular trading firms and prop, prop desks on Wall Street that actually license our training program to teach their traders. Oh, nice. All right. So uh, you know, what are you comfortable sharing? How many users you have or range or how many people uh, uh, are users on your site, whether they dabble or on subscription? 
Right. So in our, you know, we have two different trading rooms. Uh, one of them is stock trading room, uh, which we have about 100 plus, uh, you know, members in there. Uh, paying about 150 a month, and then we have a forex trading room, which is for currency trading. We don't trade any stocks; they're only currencies. So that has about another 100 and plus uh, 120 members or so. Uh, that room costs about 100 dollars a month. And then uh, so far, our training program, the Professional Trading Strategies course, which is our most popular course, uh, it's about 2,000 dollars. And you know, so far we've educated uh, more than 10,000 traders. Oh, okay, so so you're looking at monthly recurring revenue well into the five figures and you generated yeah. over two million dollars in training over over what period of that? Uh, since about 2015 is when we started. Okay, so so we had, have you ever heard of Nathan Lacka? He's a, uh, has one of the biggest podcasts uh, for entrepreneurs. Have you heard of it? No, I've actually not heard okay, of it. Okay, check it out. And he was, he was on the show and uh, what he says is, and, and, and it's right, instead of going to the gold rush, be the guy that's selling the pickaxe. Be the guy that's um, maybe the hotel we were staying overnight on the way to the journey to go to San Fran. Uh, be the guy who's selling the lime or you know whatever's associated with it, the pans, etc. And that's kind of what you're doing. So it seems that don't get me wrong, you are probably an excellent trader. Because otherwise, you wouldn't be good at what you do. But you're selling the pickaxes and uh, and uh, filter pans, correct? Um, well, I mean, if you put it that way, yeah. But um, what we're basically saying is, hey. You know, here's how I trade. Here's how I make. You want to learn how to do exactly what I do? Here you go. So I'm basically, you know, shortening the learning curve because when I started learning, as I said, I didn't make any money my first year of trading, right? Until I got it down to the second and third years when I really got down how to make money. So I'm shortening the learning curve rather than for people to take three, five, ten years just figuring out how to trade and probably blowing up a lot more money learning how to trade. It's better to just put everything together that I learned and my mentor learned, you know, in those, because uh, he's been trading like 10 plus years. So combine it with my experience, we have like 20 plus years experience, combine that in a course, because if a person goes out and learns on himself, he's going to lose 20, 30, 40, 30. there's no limit to what you can lose. So the course basically shortens that to you and gives you the strategy that you need. Any guarantees you give? Uh, obviously, you, can't, you cannot, and I assume you wouldn't say, hey, if you lose money, you know, we can't guarantee that, right? But are there any guarantees that you give or any special features uh, uh, to your system? Yeah, the special feature, as I said, was a live trading room. You can see me execute the same strategies that you learn in the course every single day, you know, because I'm sharing my screen. You can see me lose money. You can see me make money. You know, you, I'm on the audio. I'm even calling out trades. And those trades are the exact same setups, exact same strategies that they learned in the course. So that, there's, that's the guarantee there. You can see me execute that strategy every single day, and we have results. Our uh, trading room results tracked all the way from the day we started. Every single day is tracked in a spreadsheet what trade was called, what it made, what it lost. Everything's in there. Got it. Okay. So what's next for you guys? So, so you're, doing, you're doing a good amount of business. Um, you know what you're talking about. I can tell. Uh, what's next for live traders? Well, actually, what's exciting now is we started the same model that I was learning from. So we now actually fund traders as well. And that's another guarantee that you get. We are actually willing to put our own money behind you once you've completed the course. And we give people the money to trade in exchange for a percentage of their profit. The same model that I learned from, right? I just now bring that up as well. So now we have 50 plus traders who are trading my capital and I take 20% of whatever they make in order to you know, give them the capital and provide them the training. So that's the biggest uh, confidence booster for traders to see that I'm willing to put my own money behind the strategy. What, 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 what type of money? What type of money? Give me a range. So you fund fifty guys, right, or gals, or whoever. All right. So our biggest. Uh, what, yeah, what type of money? Yeah, what, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, you go, 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 sorry, you're gonna probably answer this. I'm gonna cut you off. Yeah, give us your smallest. Give us your medium. Give us your largest, and then an aggregate. How much money does it tie up? Right. So our smallest trader has thirty thousand dollars in his account, yeah. right, and that's all our money. And then the biggest trader has about $1.2 million in his account. Oh, wow. Uh, any variations between the more money you give somebody, the better they do, or they tend to be less conservative and expect less of a return? What type of returns do you expect maybe from the $30,000 guy versus the guy that you give $1.2 million to? Right. So the $30,000 guy, we actually don't expect to make anything. Our goal is for him to just you know, get his head around, or around trading that can, amount of money. Is for him to just learn and not lose. That's our main goal with a thirty thousand dollar guy, is that not lose a lot. 
So we put restrictions on their account. Like if you lose more than $500 a week, your account is going to be locked for the week and you have to come back next week to trade. So we have risk management obviously in place so that people don't blow our money. Yeah. Uh, so we set limits for them. And our goal is just to see how that trader handles money, how that trader handles risk, how he handles himself when he's down. And the level two, level three, when they start getting fifty, sixty thousand dollars, that's where we expect to make maybe you know a couple, couple five hundred bucks or so a month from them. And then as the trader gets bigger and bigger, you know, my eventual goal is to create like you know hundred traders like me, so that you know I, I don't have to trade anymore. <laughs> I can sit back and let them trade my strategies, and I can just kind of collect money and continue to coach them. Got it. Now, now it has high turnover. I'm assuming. So let's just say out of a hundred guys that sit down in front of a computer and day trade. And then obviously, I'm assuming this is mostly day trading, right? Yeah, I mean, this is 100% day trading, okay. especially with our money. With their own money, they can do whatever they want. We, we teach them long-term strategies as well. With our money, it's only day trading because we don't want you know, anybody to hold it and the next day news comes out and you know we just lost our ass. Okay, so no, no, so that makes sense. So you're looking for fast money. It is what it is. What yeah. is a turnover rate? I'm, I'm going to guess, and you tell me the answer. I'm assuming 90% of people, maybe 95% of people don't make it. But what's the turnover rate in your experience? Right. So in the in industry standard is about 90% people don't make it, you know, 10%, make it out of the 10%, 5% make any amount of money to, you know, sustain their livelihood. And then two top 2% are ones that really kill it. Uh, with us, we what we've noticed, uh, not, there's not a 90% failure rate with us because, again, as we said, we have risk management in place. So even if they want to blow their account, it's going to take them several months to blow it because we put restrictions how much they can lose in a week. So because of that forced risk management, we have a success rate of about 60%. 60% of people who join the program are going to make it. 40, uh, 30, uh, you know, 30 percent are going to drop off either because they just lost it or you know they just lost motivation or you know they just couldn't make enough to sustain their livelihood and the 10 percent people have not made it but then they continue to persevere and eventually you know six months 11 months down their timeline they eventually uh, move up the levels what type what type of tools uh, uh, so I work from home I guess right is it you know uh, uh, Charles Schwab like what what's a trading platform? You install on my computer that that I buy and sell if I'm one of your one of your guys. Right. So we have several different uh, platforms that we provide. We don't use Shrub and stuff. Those are meant for more you know retail traders. Got it. Those are really slow for day trading and you know they just nickel and dime you to death. Uh, they charge you a lot of fees. So we provide our you know we have several pro platforms which are directly connected to the stock exchange. So you get like instant you know instant entries and exits and really low commissions. You know. Like brokers charge you four dollars, nine dollars per trade. We charge like forty cents, you know, okay. forty cents because we're not making anything on anybody's commission. That goes straight to the broker. Um, so that's what a typical thing would cost. We install platforms like Sterling Trader, Tachyon, TurboTech. Those are all professional platforms that you know, enable you to trade really fast. Got it, got it, got it. Well, Animal, listen, this is uh, it's interesting because on one end. This was hot 20 years ago. I wanted to put cards on the table and a lot of people got into it. They got their ass kicked and they got out. But you got into this and you not only survived, but you strived. And then now we're being kind of the sensei and teaching other people how to do it. Um, how are millennials reacting to this? Because this is actually a good millennial thing because millennials, they're not lazy. They're not, right? But uh, they're not nine to fivers and they don't want to sit in a cube. This might be good for millennials. Are you seeing, you know, are these millennials, are you getting guys that are like, you know, 25 and rolling the dice? Or are you getting maybe older guys who crapped out in their career and uh, coming to see you? You know, what, who's coming to see it? Right. So when we started, I actually thought we were going to get a lot of millennials, you know. Yeah. But that was actually, uh, I thought when we started, we'd get a lot of millennials because it's a business where you can trade from home, you're an entrepreneur, you have yeah. no boss. So we initially thought we were going to attract a lot more people between, you know, 18 and 25. But I actually was proven wrong. Most of our clients are between 35 and 45, right? That's, and the most successful traders are for, uh, 35 and up. Most of our people who are making really good money are more than 35 years old. And I was actually really disappointed with the millennials because they don't have any focus. Honestly, like some of them that we've attracted, they're lacking that focus of perseverance and continuing with something. They join trading. They join our programs. They maybe trade for a month or so. They're like, oh, I'm not getting it. Maybe I'm going to start doing drop shipping. And then they start doing that. Oh, I'm not making. I'm going to do you know entrepreneurship. Then I'm going to do podcasting. Then I'm going to start a blog. And they're running around in circles without any focus. Whereas people who are 35 and up, they're really sitting down, focusing on it, tracking their trade, collecting statistics, and moving forward and getting better. 
Love it, love it, love it. How old are you, Anmol? I'm actually my millennial myself. I'm, I turned 25. Yeah. Are you only 25 years old? Yes. Uh, are you comfortable saying if you're a millionaire at this point? Yes. God bless. All right. Well, that'll be a nice little tagline. Well, Anmol, listen, I, I'm thoroughly impressed. Uh, I like to keep in touch. Um, uh, do you contribute to any, you know, magazines or do you write or do you do videos or social media? What, what's your outlet? Right. So I am on Instagram and Twitter. My handle on that is at Delta 90. It's all spelled out. D-E-L-T-A-N-I-N-E-T-Y. So you can get me on Instagram, Twitter at Delta 90 and then uh, the same handle on, uh, you know, Facebook as well. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's Enmol Singh. Uh, 25 year old millionaire entrepreneur who got the game and got it quickly and uh, is fishing, but also showing others how to fish. This is truly a pleasure, Anmol, and uh, let's keep in touch, buddy, okay? Sure thing. Thanks for having me. This is the uh, New Theory Podcast.